You're listening to the My Morning Devotional Podcast, Episode 973. Today's Diva was called Countdown to the Cross, Day 3. Hey there, we're the Alessis, a ministry family working together in our church in Miami, Florida. And if you're like us, when days get busy and to-do lists get longer, it can be hard to find devotional time. That's why we've partnered with our friend Allison to produce a five-minute daily dose of heaven. This is the My Morning Devotional Podcast. Good morning and happy Wednesday. Again, we are in the middle of our Holy Week devotional here with my mom, Pastor Mary, and she has just been encouraging us so much. And I am so excited for Easter Sunday this year. I already feel like it's going to be different. So we're already praying that the, your church service is going to minister to you. It's going to minister to your family. This year is going to be different. It's going to be a, a refresher for all of you and that you will not forget Easter Sunday 2024. Pastor Mary, can you please, Mama, would you mind (laughs) sharing with us your devotional today? I would love to. We are actually going to read a few more verses than we normally do. This is Mark 11, starting in verse 15. On reaching Jerusalem, Jesus entered the temple courts and began driving out those who were buying and selling there. He overturned the tables of the money changers and the benches of those selling doves, And would not allow anyone to carry merchandise through the temple courts. And as he taught them, he said, Is it not written, My house will be called a house of prayer for all nations, but you have made it a den of robbers. Mm. Wow. Stephanie, this is one of those moments where you say, who is this Jesus? (laughs) Yeah. This is angry Jesus. (laughs) This is rage Jesus. Jesus. (laughs) This is the Jesus that makes us feel a little bit better about ourselves when we get upset (laughs) about something. Mm -hmm. And we are told that Jesus just loved everybody and was always peaceful. And he was a hippie and uh, was never angry or upset about anything. This shows you part of his character that he was so upset When he walked through his house, the temple of God, and he saw it a place where they were selling and they were merchandising, and he actually said, you've made it a den of thieves. Hmm. You've turned it into a den of thieves, not just a den of shopping. You've, You've actually robbed. And, you know, as we look at that, and we've, we've joked about this today, Jesus flipped the tables and we get a picture of how Jesus was so angry that when he went in, he just tore the place up. And that's partly because of the conviction that he had when he walked in and he saw how the house of God was mismanaged. And he wouldn't tolerate it, Stephanie. Mm. He wouldn't tolerate for one moment. It was a natural reaction for him to walk in and be so outraged that men and women in their natural state would turn in such a beautiful, sacred, holy space into something that was abhorrent yeah. to him. Yeah. And so he reacted and he responded. And as we were talking about this devotion, you made a statement that was really powerful, that maybe this is the picture God wants for us this Easter week to apply this verse to our own lives. What area in our own heart? We are the temple yeah. of the Holy Spirit. Our bodies yeah. are the temple. What's the area of your life that maybe through this devotion, God is giving you insight to that you need to be outraged about, that you need to drive out, that you need to set aside, that you need to say, I sacrifice that part of my life because it does not bring glory and honor to God. It doesn't make my life holy, doesn't make my life righteous. So I want to be convicted about those things, God. And if I'm not convicted about them, help me see why I'm not and help me to be convicted. The areas that would in at any way drive me from a personal relationship with you. So if you're if you're conflicted today, yeah. If you're troubled today, if you're feeling guilt or shame over anything in your life, that is an indicator that God wants you to be convicted, not condemned. Yeah. But to feel convicted like he did about the state of the temple. Yeah. And maybe that's what you're feeling this Easter week. You're conflicted because of the state of your own temple. Mm. And this is a great opportunity for you to take this morning devotional and say, Lord, less of me and all of you. That's good, Mom. So let's pray. Let's pray. Father, we just thank you for, again, this opportunity 
to be reminded through your word. Your word brings life. It brings understanding in areas that we don't understand. It gives us answers. So as we lean into this today, God, we're all convicted, every single one of us. We have areas of our lives that do distance us from you. So Lord, we take this moment to say we will drive it out. We will not let shame. We will not let sin. We will not let anything that is an excuse that would distract us from you or that would keep us from you stay in our lives or in our temples, not one more moment. Father, would you give us the strength and the courage to be able to do that, that we could walk that out because we know we can only walk it out by faith. We pray for every person that's listening this morning. Lord, give them the conviction again. Take them back to their first love so that they would not in any way of their life harm you, rob you, or something that would keep their lives from bringing glory and honor to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen. and amen. So there you have it, your five-minute daily dose of heaven. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We pray these devotionals empower you to take on your day. If you found value in this devotional, share it with a friend, leave a comment or review for us on the app you're using right now. Until tomorrow, we pray that your latte is strong, but your love for Jesus is stronger.